What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Quick Picks. Today, I'm your host, Brian Fonseca, and we're going to be talking about NBA championship futures. Three teams, three potential champions, and we're going to lock into that today. First, we're going to begin with the favorites, the Phoenix Suns at plus 270. Still pretty good value there. And they're the safest bet to come out on top. They're the only 60-plus win team in the NBA this season. Chris Paul struggled with injury late in the year. Didn't matter. They still went on a tear, beating up most of the teams in the Western Conference. They have Mikael Bridges, a Defensive Player of the Year candidate. Devin Booker is getting a lot of love for finals MVP props and things of that nature already ahead of time. They have the best well-oiled machine in the NBA, DeAndre Ayton. We saw him in the finals last year. And that's the other key thing here, too, is that they have Finals experience, Monty Williams, an arguable coach of the year. They just have the best team in the NBA from top to bottom, most well-rounded. They're the best bet to come out of the Western Conference because of how balanced they are, the experience, and so long as they stay healthy, they should come out of the Western Conference. Next up, we'll go to the East. And in the East, we have, first, the Milwaukee Bucks. And as of this recording, they're at plus 500 to come out and win the championship. The defending champions, not as great of a regular season as you would have wanted and played themselves into the third seed, though. That was by design. Giannis Antetokounmpo is still there. Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday, Bobby Portis. Brooke Lopez is back and playing well off a of back injury. That's been key for them. They can still do a lot of the things that they did last year en route to a championship. They're missing P.J. Tucker. That's fine. They have figured out ways to sort of replicate that and really just replicate them what they did last year. Just haven't been as consistent, maybe bored with the regular season, but expect them to come out on top. They gave themselves the Bulls in the first round. That's gonna be an easy matchup. They're probably gonna get the Celtics or the Nets in round two. They should be able to beat either one. And then a team that we're gonna to get to next in the conference finals. So our last pick here, coming out of the East, the Miami Heat, great value at plus 950. The Miami Heat have the path that they absolutely needed. In the first round, they're going to get whoever's in the eighth seed. As of this recording, the play-in has not finished. Um, and then from there, you're looking at the winner between the Philadelphia 76ers or the Toronto Raptors. And really, that's kind of a 50-50 series. The Raptors are a sneaky upset pick there. From there, you have most likely the Milwaukee Bucks or the Boston Celtics or the Brooklyn Nets. And for the Heat... How this plays out is you only have to get through one of the Celtics, Bucks, or Nets in order to get to the conference finals. And you have home court advantage, which is key for this team that doesn't have the top end talent, but it's just a well-oiled machine, great on defense, very good on offense for much of the season. Their late game offense could be a little bit shaky, but do they have enough to beat the Bucks is the question. Kyle Lowry's been playing better since the last time they played the Milwaukee Bucks. Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, they all have because they've gotten their things together after that little kerfuffle on the sideline. So Miami Heat, that's your last pick. Thank you for watching Quick Picks today. Good luck on your NBA Finals bets and bet responsibly. Take care.